everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swoosh and I'm here reviewing the QQQs. And why? Because we had a we had a, a range bound day in the Qs this morning. A very, very range bound day. I have no idea why we couldn't we couldn't do it today in the Qs, except for the fact that we had a big day yesterday. So I guess here was the two choices of the choices for today. Follow through higher immediately or rest. As it turns out, we decided to rest. No econ of any significance out today. What was the minimal level of support we needed to hold? I figured out this morning, 105. We, we, we got within a penny of it. If we had broken 105 today, I, I don't know what would have happened. But I just want to show you something. In a normal environment, which we're not in, we would have fallen today in a gap down into support. But we didn't. And I'm going to tell you why. Because we rested today for the entire time the market was open. 930 to 1030, 1030 to 1130, 1130 to 1230, 130 to 230, 230 to 330, 230 to 330 for six hours. Because we did break out. This is this is crazy. We went over the high and went green on the day in the last half hour of the day. So for six solid hours, the market took a nap, fell asleep, and we're going to move higher tomorrow. I don't know where we got tomorrow into the open. It doesn't even matter. We are higher tomorrow, 100% conviction and no chance of failure because for six hours we rested today. And we're going to carry through higher. So the choices today was immediately carry through higher. It was too much for us to do. Or rest today, which is what we did, and rally. I knew we would not drop today. And I'm telling you right now that yesterday was a very pivotal day for the market. It was a turnaround day for the market. I knew it at 5 a.m. when I got up. And then I knew in the morning when I got up, and then I knew when I watched a straight out in the day and went to the dream target and passed it. Yesterday was a turnaround day for the market. We will not look back. We will not look back. And I knew we couldn't even retrace 50% of the bottom of this bar, of the bar from yesterday. I knew we could not retrace even 50%. If we had retraced 50% of this bar, it would have been all over once again. And I knew we weren't going to do it because this is a turnaround day for the market. So dream target really is 108. Look for us to rally the next few days. Thursday, Friday, boom. All the way up here into this area. Here is where we could gap tomorrow and run, or really anywhere. If we didn't break today, we are not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. So look for a breakout in the QQQs tomorrow. I have no idea why we struggled with that area at 105.60, but we struggled all day where we open, and we just rested. We rested, rested, rested. A rest day is okay. It doesn't mean we're turning around. It doesn't mean reversing. Rest days mean follow through and continuation of whatever trend you're in. FYI. And the trend of the market is up. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissatthesockswish.com if you want to sign up for the room special. It expires Friday. Class is this weekend. If you want to learn how to trade with me, it's this is going to be a great year to trade. You got the rest of the year to trade with me if you want to do it. I'm telling you, this is going to be an amazing year. It already is a good start to the year so far, and it's going to get even better. Look for the market to blow. Blow tomorrow. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you like more information or you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class. It's March 5th and 7th. Have a great night.